canal O. Uh, now I have uh, more than 200 tutorials on my channel, but this is my first tutorial in English. I'm not very good in English, but I think I'm good enough to real to make such tutorials. And hope you like it. Today what we'll make? Uh, a small jeep with uh, rotation wheels. It doesn't have a uh, movement component in it, and the rotation of wheels will be determined by the direction uh, and the velocity of a jeep. See. If we move our spine backwards, it rotates backwards. It's forward, it rotates forward. And it uses no velocity component, so it's just a static mesh compared to the blueprint. Okay, how to make this? Let's make a blueprint component. Where is component? Ah, a blueprint class. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And we have an actor component in it. Okay. Uh, I'll name it at AC actor component my velocity. What's inside? Inside uh, we must do two things: calculate our velocity and uh, find the direction of where our jeep is moving. Okay, let's start with the velocity. Event tick. Uh, we use it every frame. And what we have? We get get owner. Target is actor component. We get the uh, owning component of <laughs> or owning actor of our component because we want to use it in every actor. Okay, get actor location and now we subtract the previous location which was calculated the previous frame. Now minus previous. Okay, then we need the velocity not in one frame but in second. So we divide one divide by data seconds and we multiply our division or, or by our locations. So this is the velocity. And we promote it to variable. Now we have a vector length. We will need it, but not in this tutorial. And now we set our, set our previous location, which is get actor location from now. So we have uh, current location and previous locations. I see. In the event begin play, we also make uh, the previous location because uh, if we don't make this, the previous location uh, in the beginning will be always zero and the rotation will be extremely fast. So strange. Okay, this is our velocity. We needed to calculate uh, the rotation speed. Next, we must understand the direction. We get the get actor forward vector. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, sometimes it becomes uh, negative when we move forward so we make it ABS and normalize it then we use uh, we have our velocity and dot product is it okay this is our dot now we go to some more interesting things uh, in our event uh, we make our view in the event graph in the event tick we add our AC my velocity component, yes, just add here. And we add rotation movement component. And what we do next? We have our velocity, yes, we see. But its velocity is in uh, our vector lens. We make it clamp range. Uh, the velocity, for example, will be from 1 to 2000 and out range from 1 to 1, from 0 to 1. This is uh, made to, uh, this is alpha our rotations. Okay, what's next? Now next we, we get our dot product and if it is below zero, as you see, then we use a select node to determine the rotation. Uh, uh, rotation backward, rotation forward. And we put it to the rotation movement component. Uh, so our rotations will be somewhere between 1 and minus 150, 150 and 1, 0 to 150. Okay, I think it was right in English. Okay, and now our wheels will rotate in right direction. You can adjust your speed, it's up to you. Uh, what we will we'll make next? We will make our jeep. Okay, uh, we have our car body, then we add child. Or you can simply uh, drag from your content browser your wheels. 
just drag it there, drag, drag them there. Or you can add child, child actor, and set the child actor class the view. Oh, I forget one thing. In the construction script, I made a reverse rotation. And uh, as you see, set uh, relative location to this. This is because uh, the rotation of wheels will be uh, where they rotate, but the wheels here and there are all rotated. So uh, if this wheel rotates here, uh, this direction, this will rotate this direction. So we need to rotate them. I hope you understand this. Uh, we, we took uh, two our we took our wheels and on two wheels of this wheel reverse rotation and on other wheels as you see here on this side we will not re reverse rotation. Okay, this our jeep is made. Looks it's it's done. Now you can use a spline or simply move your jeep to rotate the wheels in a right wheel, right way, without using any movement components. That's a very cheap solution, and I hope you like it. Okay, if I have some, if I made some mistakes in English or in theory, please feel free to comment, because it's my first tutorial and I want to make them both better.